What should you do with Travis Etienne Jr.? Let's get into it. The simple answer is hold him, and I'll explain why. 11.6 fantasy point average is excellent for a guy that's team is 0-4, and he's had a negative game script pretty much every single game except this past weekend when he had a shoulder injury. That's the only reason why Tank Bigsby got some snaps, and Tank Bigsby's look great. I get that, and I get that's a concern, but you just don't give away a guy this talented who finishes the RB3 last season and two years ago as a top 5-10 to 10 running back as well. 1,000-plus yards, 5-plus touchdowns in back-to-back seasons. He's going to get 1,000-plus yards again and probably 8-9 to nine touchdowns, or maybe even 10 like last year. Now, I'm not saying he's going to finish as an RB3 again, but a top 10 running back, that's not out of question. The Jags have played their worst football. They're going to play better, and Travis Etienne is going to be a big reason why. And the biggest part that I don't think anybody's getting, 4.6 yards per carry is way better than his 3.8 yards per carry last season. And he finishes RB3 last year. So the efficiency is better uh, with a similar offensive line. Trevor Lawrence is going to play better. Yes, Tank Bigsby may get some snaps, but the goal line back is still Travis Etienne as well. And he's a great pass catcher. So if you ask me, I'm not trading him for some random guy, some fifth or sixth rounder that happens to be having a great year. I'm keeping my second round pick if I have Travis Etienne Jr. And I'm holding him because I know that it only matters what he does in the fantasy football playoffs. And he's going to be good then and good for weeks to come. You guys agree? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you follow for more fantasy football content like this.